Hi guys, welcome back to Replay SG and today we have another unboxing of Scandalo. So this just arrived today and just nice I have the time to do it. So yeah, this is a uh, game published by Mega Copying Games and it do feature this uh, intelligent, sorry, brilliant deck system. And yeah, they won a few awards as well. And yeah, let's take a look at the sites. So uh, you can see over here is for Aegis Troy Fena. This for 45 to 75 minutes and for one to six players and yeah we do have the app here as well so what the app does is is that it helps to randomize the um the scenario that you're playing with and yeah so uh this is the same and it's the same so this is the back of the box and yeah it has a very newspaper kind of vibe and you can see over here that is from the um over here the creators of um awkward guess so i do have the unboxing for awkward guess as well uh, i'll link it down below if you guys are interested but yeah anyway this is scandalo and uh unlike awkward guess where we are solving a murder in scandalo we are actually solving or rather finding out a scandal between some celebrities so um it's a bit of a twist in the team as well yeah so in the original awkward guess um i will not talk too much about it but uh, a brief overview of awkward guess is that generally um they are trying to solve a murder of uh, Mr. Watson. So um, so basically Mr. Watson um, was murdered and there are I think five or six uh, suspects and you are trying to find out um, who is the suspect and what did they kill Mr. Watson with and what motive that they do have. And one interesting thing about the, that game is that um, they also have the um, kind of routes that the murderer will go through and um, based on the routes, it could give you a bit of hint or uh, based on the um, weapons that is present in the rooms that the murderer actually went past. So yeah, uh, but that's not present here. Um, but what they do try to replicate and is that they actually have a kind of a link between um, all the different um, leads. So yeah, as opposed to uh, Aqua Gas where you are uh, working with kind of the police as well as the um, service workers or the maids um, in the household. In this, you're actually working with um, sort of the leads that actually provide you with different information. And yeah, I think this is also a slightly more um, complicated one as compared to Awkward Guess. So yeah, um, there is that. And yeah, um, I'll talk more about it as I open this up uh, and I have things to refer to. So yeah, let's um, get this open. Also, I do have the Editor-in-Chief, uh, I think, Pledge. So we do, it does come with this um, breaking news as well as um, this which I'm not too sure what is this uh, yeah but I will be opening it uh, in this video as well so yeah uh, I'll be showing you uh, these two at the end so again time stands down below if you guys want to see this first um, you can always jump ahead uh, that's okay so yeah but first let's open this up first Okay, so yeah, and let's see what is inside. Once again, this is Scandalo, and yeah, nothing at the back. Okay, so here we have uh, these are the player screens, and yeah, they look a lot smaller. And let's see whether they made any improvement uh, from the previous game. So yeah, we can see here we have a more. Um, so sort of city vibes and all this actually have a, again of course they don't look pretty but then um it has a kind of style to it like yeah uh i'm not sure what kind of style it but i believe you guys should know like some uh you know when they ask the street artists to draw them and they do draw the similar version of them but in cartoon so this kind of feels uh, like it and uh this is the back we have the same bags i believe for all of them and yeah, let's take a look at what is here. So the same uh, thing here, basically in Awkward Guess, uh, you also have the player screens and they do tell you roughly how to 
uh, make deductions based on the cards that you are given. So all of them are the same and this is the network that I was talking about uh, between the leads and if you can see here uh, so in this game you actually have five locations um, the different leads that you can ask about sorry the different um, celebrities and yeah so later I'll refer to the bot so but basically uh, these five new locations they actually do tell you about specific things uh, of uh, certain people or certain motive uh, of yeah so you do have the leads here so yeah and yeah that's quite interesting which is not present in um Oculus. guess the only thing present in Oculus, uh i believe was that um basically different rooms have different weapons and if you ask about the room you will get naturally get information about the weapon and so that's pretty straightforward and also the main uh, place where mr watson died uh, do give you the most um, information regarding the weapon news and stuff like that so in this case, yeah, different uh, areas or if different places actually tells you about different things which are all conveniently written here. So yeah, and this is so this is for all the leads I believe. It's pretty cool, and this one do look familiar. I think it appeared in um Oculus Gas, I believe. And these are the celebrities, and yeah, we do have six of these because it's a uh, up to six players and yeah so okay this time out they are slightly smaller and let's set this aside and we have here the um, rule book which we have two interesting so yeah one is in english and one is in not english i'm not too sure why is this um language yeah but yeah so i'll be showing guys that i'll just quickly flip through the um I don't know what language is this, but yeah. So yeah, but they did say about something being uh like about the game being like multilingual. Yep. So these are the rules for um uh, another language, and yeah, let's take a, a slower look <laughs> on English. Uh, on the English rule book. So these are the components that you have. You have a very nice um this card box for the uh, that looks like the camera and the deck and yeah so uh, the more important thing is that um, basically the gameplay mechanics is the same as compared to awkward guess but then um, this is different um, in terms of the deduction you need to uh, use um, to play this game so it's slightly different and the way things links uh, is also a bit different so yeah and yeah so these phases are all the same so in, essentially what you do is that everybody is given six cards at the start of the game and uh, you jot down the different um deductions that you've made onto the um, sort of sheet of paper and then um, you kind of um, point to the different areas of the game uh, to ask for clues from the other players and then you exchange the same the clue that totals up to the same point so yeah, that's basically the gist of the game. And then followed by a discard phase, it cuts down to three cards, and then you draw back up to six. Then uh, you also have a chance to guess uh, every round. Uh, but if you guess wrongly, then you kind of just um, skip guessing the next round. So yeah, basically like alternate um, rounds. So if you guess, if you're right, you basically uh, win. Yeah, so um, we have all the different cards here. That's yeah and they do have a very nice example uh here to tell you like roughly how things work and we have some advice here and all this i'm not gonna fit too much with like i did for the other one so i actually cut it out um but yeah these are all the different um cases that you can um, play with uh these are all in the physical book but if you download the app you can actually have a way more uh, which it says 3200 uh, at the back of the box if you notice so yeah i'm not gonna fit anymore because those are the answers to these cases and if you play with the uh, cases here anybody who guesses only have a single chance because they'll actually be looking at the answer but if you use the app it will just tell you whether you're right or wrong so yeah and yeah that's it i'm just gonna flip yeah so this is the last page so that's a turn order very simple 
And uh, in the base game, sorry, not base game, I keep saying base game, but in Ocker Guess, um, the back of the rulebook is actually the bot, which is quite interesting. So I'm not sure why they didn't carry over. And this is just an explanation of all the different, um, what does all the different uh, symbol means. Yep, so that's for the rubo and we have this token here, this cardboard token, and these are the guessing tokens, and this to show you um, how many points you have, which we don't usually use this, uh, we just simply like verbally tell each other like, okay, I have three points uh, worth of clue, so do you want to take mine, and uh, if he does, then he does give me back three points, so yeah, and this small number is just saying uh, the points behind, so they don't have to go flipping around. And we do have uh, three arrows here to point to the different areas that you want to ask about. So maybe let's punch uh, one of these and let's take a look at the thickness. So yeah, this is uh, this is fine, pretty stiff, and yeah, and you can see the um, chips inside. Is the different layers? Yeah, it's quite stiff for a cardboard like this. So yeah, it's pretty good, and yeah, the print is. Uh, kind of centered, kind of not centered actually. Yeah, so they are all, yeah, they are all not centered actually. <laughs> okay. Uh, again, I we won't really be using this as well because um, I don't think there's really a need. Oh shit! I don't think there's really a need for this because um, yeah, there's not going to be too much guessing until uh towards the end of the game. Yeah, so. We don't really need that. Um, basically, anybody who wants to guess, just guess it. And um, we will, since it's pretty much towards the end game, you'll pretty much know when the person has guessed or not. So yeah, that we don't really use. Uh, we don't really use the this um, to keep track. And this is the this card box. And we have this um, probably the first player bot. Uh, sorry, the first player token. Uh, basically, the first player starts uh, with maybe let's say me. Then it will go one round, then that's the end of the round. So whether anybody wants to guess, if nobody guesses, then the discard phase happens and then I'll pass this to the next player. So it probably works the same way here. And then we have a board which um, sadly is made of um, cardstock. So that's a bit uh, sad. Yeah, I mean, they could make it uh, into a maybe cardboard at least. So it's double sided and I believe they are the same. So yeah, this is the area that I'm talking about and these are the places that you can put your arrows at. So you can, I think in a two player game you actually choose three, in a three or more player game you actually choose two places. So I believe that should be also the case here. And yeah, or maybe not because there's actually quite a, thing, quite a few things that you can ask about. So you can ask about the location the um, celebrity themselves, the leads, as well as the um, newspaper publishers. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so yeah, these are things that you can ask about. And next we have here is the player, um, the mats itself, and it's pretty thick. Uh, and the best of all is that it's double-sided, so you can everything can be used twice. So yeah, but I do recommend uh, just laminating them and then get a whiteboard marker so that you can just reuse them and you can just save the rest uh, in case maybe somehow the laminates uh, spoil or something. So yeah, basically over here, um, yeah, so you can see here, these are kind of the um, scandals themselves and they do have a different category to them. And yeah, basically, I think this is probably saying like maybe only A and O uh, will be um, connected to this scandal. So A and O, so basically the vowels are actually the uh, celebrities here. Uh, over here, so we have Uma, Ike, Owen, um, and Ed, sorry, Ed and Phil and Amy. Uh, so these are the five celebrities. So yeah, they are all represented with this A, I, O, U over here. And then we have some uh, kind of category here. Yeah. And then this is the so in place of uh, the routes that the murderer go in awkward guess, uh, it actually has this kind of detective um, vibe to it. 
uh, by having these uh, li connecting lines. So this, uh, I think basically says that um, whether this is connected to this or this lead is uh, in touch with this or something. Yep. And you do have different categories here and as well as the um, celebrities and also the newspaper publisher that uh, I think they work for something like that uh, in the game. Yep. And yeah, so uh, basically I believe um, they do have to like kind of draw a connection somehow uh, using this. So sometimes maybe in some cards they will say that this and this is not uh, related or something. Yeah. So for this, they actually, these are actually the um, newspaper publishers. So you have one, two, three, which I'm not too sure why is this. And so as uh, whether the newspaper publisher will actually publish about these celebrities and about these scandals. So you can see these uh, four shapes here, and this is also tied to all this. Yeah, so it's the so this is just whether the publisher will publish about these um, scandals. So yeah, this is uh, the um, player board or player map paper that you use. So yeah, uh, in the base game is actually a landscape, but this one you're actually playing a portrait. And if I use one of these, uh, so there, there's one thing that I'm worried about is that people actually can see your paper. So it, that's basically like kind of like copying like test. So you don't have to like cover it up uh, kind of like this, which it actually does fit, but then it does make uh, jotting down like really difficult. You kind of have to like snake your hand around this area. So, and yeah, you basically have to kind of open it up a little bit. And yeah, and you can't really sit next to each other because uh, just by glancing towards the left or right, you can actually see this area. And actually this is at the bottom. So yeah, it's really easy for people to see no matter how you do it. Yeah, unless you really sit like super far apart. So yeah, but yeah, that's just a minor uh, thing. So next we have the cards, which is a bit of improvement. Uh, in the sense that they do color code the back. Uh, yeah, because the back doesn't really matter in this case. Um, yeah, unless you really, unless your memory is like super good, you can actually know that, oh, uh, these color cards actually have, uh, you know, what kind of um, clues. So yeah, I wanted to say that they did actually include the um, numbers here, which the awkward guess actually does. They actually put the numbers uh, along here to show like this is from 1 to 50, this is from 51 to 100, things like that. But yeah, so this one is actually um, at the bottom, which I'm not too sure why, because if I put it like this, then I can't see it anymore. <laughs> so um, that's a bit weird. I mean, I could see this, but then again, it's not very informative. But yeah, I guess, yeah, there is that. And yeah, we do have some here as well. And this is where you put the uh, camera. That's why it's uh, the other, uh, you can actually put the other um, tokens inside the camera and then just store it here. It is uh, way neater compared to the previous one. Yeah. So, and yeah, this is still like this. So in other words, you can see like the gaps here. So if you kind of put your cards this way, so some of it might get stuck. Yeah, which is, uh, I'm not a very big fan of this. Uh, maybe they could like simply just tape it down or something. That would be nicer. But anyway, uh, this is the cards. So basically what the brilliant deck system means is that uh, they do have a standard set of cards, but each game you'll be using uh, cards from different decks and in different numbers. So this combination of cards will actually give you one specific answer. And they do uh, combine in such a way that they have like thousands of different um, combinations with um, maybe some repeated answers are probably um, but yeah I guess um, that should be way more than uh, needed to actually play the game yeah so they do have extra scenarios which I'll talk about uh, towards the end uh, but yeah let's open this first again the cards uh, not too much to go through but I'll still quickly go through them Okay, so this is from 1 to 50. So again, the different color bag is really a nice touch because uh, when you are um, sort of tearing the game down, uh, you do have to like count, see by the numbers. So I think based on the color, it's way better. So yeah, this is um, 1 to 50. Again, uh, try not to remember the uh, number and the what's at the back. So just to make the game a bit more fun for yourself. 
and yep so this is the different cards that you can see so this probably means that like this fat francs which is uh it's not aiou so this is the lead does not uh know about these two person something like that and this is uh the part where if somebody says they want to know about f or o or e so this is the eligible card so you can total up all the cards that you have and then see which one you want to give and then total up the points at the top left of those cards that you wanted want to actually pass on to the active player so yeah so basically the cards are mainly um, yeah landscape again i'll be going through this pretty fast because there's uh, not too much to say here um but yeah this is uh just saying like this publisher doesn't do this too so yeah again uh, the card quality here is fine um again i'll be sleeving them so uh but if you're not i think it's a pretty decent kind of card quality and it's linen finish so yeah it's not too thick but it's not flimsy either so you can hear from the sound and how i handle it so yeah Oh, so I think, yeah. And these are all the different cards. Again, if you are not interested in seeing all the cards. Oh, you have two of the, oh, it's different. But yeah, it's pretty interesting. And I think they do have like kind of a different um, clues. I think this game is, um, if compared to um, Awkward Guesses, going to be made like more complicated because uh, of the number of informations that you have and I'll just lay them here and let's go to the next deck yep, so the pull tag is way easier on here so 51 to 100 is actually green in color and Yep, so these are the different uh, cards. Again, they are mostly the same. Like, um, this is about the, uh, let's see. Yeah, so this is regarding the um, motifs, or rather the scandals. And this is the saying about connection. And they saying about the relationship between the lead and the um, celebrity. So yeah, this um, this saying about the lead and yeah, I'm not sure why is this. This is something new. This is not the um. This is not the um scandal. So you can see for this guy, Jerry Getty. So it actually has these two symbol, which I'm not too sure what it is. Um. Oh yeah, it is. So yeah, this. So yeah, this kind of have a bit of connection. Um, uh, the different leads. Uh, to the um scandals itself. So they are saying about the news, uh, pre news, what's that? Um, publishers, news publishers, and these uh scandals towards the um celebrity, and yeah, I don't think I don't I'm not sure if there's any kind of lying here because um in the base game uh, I keep saying base game again, in the hacker guess it actually have uh, some elements of um cooperations between the suspects. <laughs> So I'm not too sure if, if they have something similar in this one, like whether one, uh, maybe one of the lead will lie, you know, will kind of lie to protect the main uh, person in scandal. Yeah, so this is for these cards. So these are in blue and yeah, again going through very quickly. So this is saying the scandal, yeah, same scandal to the celebrity. So yeah, there's actually not too many as opposed to um awkward guess. So this is yeah, this two person towards this. That is like I think kind of like a um Oh, that's the um the pressed um company. 
so that like, this two person doesn't work for this, I guess. Yeah, not too much. Uh, again, I'll just still show you guys everything. Um, but yeah, do feel free to skip this. Uh, So yeah, this lady is Bernice Burbick, which actually also appeared in um, The Awkward Guest. So yeah, actually um, for Logic Deduction is actually one of our favorite games to play. So that's why we have Awkward Guest, we have Scandalo, we also have um, Alchemist. Yeah, so these are all the games that we do enjoy a lot. Like I said in the um, previous video on in awkward guess, um, this is actually a bit like the um, what's that? The uh, Einstein game, Einstein kind of quiz uh, that talks about the the different walls, um, color, and the people inside from each country and what kind of drinks they drink. So yeah, it's pretty similar. Um, but then we get to play this over and over again. So yeah, that's the kind of that's the same feel that I got. But this is. Of course, uh, way more difficult. Yeah, I think maybe sometimes it's, um, maybe the cards are a little bit misleading. Not sure if it's meant to be, um, but yeah, sometimes the answer answers are a bit like um, contradicting. Yeah, so I think it's either we noted down wrongly or something. Yeah. So these are the cards. And yeah, again, not too sure what the news publisher and the one, two, three means. Yep. And that's all for all the cuts. Again, uh, not too much um, variety in terms of like the type of cuts, mainly about five or six. And so I think that's good in a way that um, you don't actually have to um, like, uh, learn too much about the individual cards. So yeah, and I actually received like an extra card from the publisher Which is uh, yeah, not too sure What's wrong? Okay, so maybe some um, difference in Maybe a wrong painting. So I'll just keep this aside uh, until I play the game or read about this so yeah, and that's for all the different cards. I'll leave this here in the box. So next I'll go over the um, extra stuff that came in this pledge. All right, first we have Scandalo and we have the Breaking News. So uh, I've looked through it a bit. So it's mainly the uh, artwork behind. So yeah, they all have like, um, let's use the close up. So yeah, they all have like, um. Uh, English and uh, other language. So these are all the different um, probably inspirations or maybe actual um, scandals. So yeah, I believe they are actually they are like actual scandals. So uh, I'm not sure. Probably not because I don't think anybody is named this, and they just kind of model it after uh, someone. Yeah, so these are taking reference from these different um, people. So it's kind of like giving you the idea of how they actually come up with the concept. And this is the first time we see um, such a thing. Which is, yeah, cool. So these are stories and I believe the stories are probably... I, don't know, I haven't read into it, but it's probably maybe real or it looks like it's using uh, Intel men. So Probably fake, <laughs> I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm not reading too much into it yet. And then the last few pages is actually our extra, um, the extra cases. So these are all the different um, um, scandals. I think this is just to give some sort of context to the game that you're actually playing. So yeah, these are the extra scenarios and we do have hard medium easy 
extreme, very hard. Yep, the ones at the back are the answers. So let's see. Yep, so the rest are the answers here. And this is the back. So you have the six exclusive game, you have detailed profiles of the characters, the celebrities. So yeah, this so this is basically a story of the in-game characters. So it's they are probably not real. And yeah, probably have inspirations from real life, but yeah, probably not real. And yeah. So this is uh the book. Yeah, I'm quite interested in what the other one uh is. So yeah, this is the one. It's a pretty thick uh, pretty hard and we have a very nice scandalo uh, word here yeah so let's uh, dig in and see what is inside and this sealed so let's just carefully open this up Okay, let's hope I didn't scratch anything inside. So again, uh, if it's spoilers, I'll just cut it off here. <laughs> but yeah, hope it's not. I don't think there's any spoiler worthy stuff here. Ooh, that's very nice. So yeah, I do have some cardboard here. That's uh, probably the wrong way. Yeah, let's take a look at all this. Okay, so we have some sort of pad here. Again, double sided, and the numbers are all the same. Okay, quite cool. Or oh, maybe these are kind of like the answering pad. So it's like have the um, celebrity, the publishers, and the scandals. And we have another one here, which is uh, also the same thing. And cool, cool. Okay. Yeah, some of these uh, postcards. Yeah, so this is probably the um, sort of deluxe kind of edition kind of thing. These are different uh, locations, and yeah. So that's the five different locations. The back are all the same. And that's quite cool. And we have this which says scandal uncovered by extensive networks of perceptive journalists so yeah this is yeah the kickstarter edition small editorial office journalist and these are oh yeah this is probably like um starring their um sort of developers so nice we do have Ooh, we have all the different names here. So let's see if we can find ours. Yep, so we do have uh, my name somewhere here. So yeah, for those who know me, you will see it. For those who don't, you probably don't know which is it. But yeah, we do have one exclusive game here and some achievement lists, um, like win a game of beginner difficulty, win a game unraveling a uh, false altruism scandal and yeah oh that's cool that's cool we have some sort of crossword puzzle here and you can it's like a mini game kind of thing you have find seven differences and some more uh extreme difficulty game sets here and we probably have oh you don't have okay cool so these are all the different um uh comments about the game and uh, unfortunately it's pretty bad <laughs> not sure why they are like focusing all the different all the bad reviews like this is this is a bad review and let's see this was a bad review this is a bad review and this is also a bad review from Rado and this is also a bad review that's interesting yeah so the worst reviews of Mario copying games 
Hmm. Yeah, so I'm not too sure whether it's purposeful or purposely like done this way. So yeah, the um, answers are actually here. I'm trying to cover them as much as I can. Don't read them. But yeah, these are the answers to whatever is inside. And let's take a look at this. So yeah, there's the different tiles for the different, um, uh, what's that? The different um, celebrities and the different, uh, all this, and the leads. And we have this. There's the back of it. Yeah. So the awkward guess also has something like this. So there's like a card for the individual murderer, which I'm not too sure why it does. So, but now I'm thinking, uh, oops, it probably mean like, uh, it's probably meant for like kind of context for the game. So yeah, and then we have this, which is cool. So it basically is a stand to showcase this, which, okay. Not sure what kind of purpose it serves, but yeah. Pretty cool. Again, I enjoyed the first game, the awkward guess. Um, and let's hope I can enjoy this. Um, and hope it's not too complex or complicated. But oops. But yeah. So let's go on to the uh, sleeve test, which I almost forgot. So yeah, for the sleeve test, uh, same like the original game, uh, it's actually using 623.5 by 88 millimeters, which is a very standard cut uh, size. Uh, a cut sleeve size so yeah this is uh, by sleeve kings and 60 microns so um again the all the cradles would definitely fit this uh, if you've seen the unboxing uh, just now um yeah but basically this is it and it has a bit of a uh, overhanging plastic and the sides are quite snug so yeah so this is the one that you should get if you are sleeving your game so yeah, once again, uh, if you guys like what you've seen here, do uh, give this video a thumbs up and do consider subscribing. And yeah, basically this is a uh, scandal. If you guys got it, do let me know what you think of this game. Because it seems like most of the reviewers are not really liking this game. But I can't really see why. Maybe it's just because I like uh, this kind of game uh, a lot. So yeah, again, I'll try it out and probably post a um, Instagram post. Um, regarding this game whether i like it or not so yeah once again this is um scandalo and thanks for watching bye bye